My name's Geoffrey Lawrence and I'm Managing Director of Ardmore Healthcare. The company's been in existence since 2007 and it's a healthcare medical devices company. The first step's really related to rigorous market research. I had been involved in non-invasive diagnostic equipment products in a company for which I used to work. I spent the first 20 or so years in and around London until the big day arrived when I was off the job in Japan and I just uh, packed up and went with the family to Tokyo. I went from there to Singapore where I worked for a company called Glaxo and spent uh, four years there with Glaxo before returning to the UK. The main invention that we have been involved with is developing software for ambulatory products such as this. You'll have this catheter introduced carefully up your nose and it'll sit in your gullet about here and you'll go home and there'll be a 24-hour recording and you'll return to the hospital the next day or you send this back and they'll do the analysis in the hospital. It means there are no anaesthetics or analgesics, there are no overnight hospital stays. It's almost unimaginable to think that um, we now have uh, over 60%, approaching 70% of the UK market. So on two previous occasions, my entrepreneurial um, ventures failed. Don't think it happens easily, because it doesn't. It requires lots of grief, lots of sweat, lots of hard work, and certainly lots of sacrifice. We, we've had one or two setbacks with um, very uh, intense and vigorous competition. With price competition, it's almost impossible to do anything about it. But in terms of being quick on our feet to combat fierce competition from American companies, that's something we do every day. We physically did run out of cash. It was just a, a timing thing, but there's no point saying it's just a timing thing. Timing is all important. There was one very important turning point about four years ago where we had been given the nod that we lost a huge contract. Uh, I decided the best thing we could do is ask in more detail why we lost the contract. And once we were able to find out, explain what we could do in order to um, win it back, which we did. And that was a very important turning point. You've got to believe in yourself and you've got to back yourself. But most importantly, something I didn't mention is if it risks failing or if it does fail, you should know when to get out. Thank you for your attention.